Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Spire of the Dragon. What should I say? Let's finish Spire of the Dragon! Because all we have left to do today, as far as I know, we look like we've completed everything. Ninety-seven percent. I'd say all we have to do is kill Nasty Nork. So let's do it. So yeah, Nasty Nork. Uh, interesting. I mean. All the boss battles in Spyro the Dragon aren't what you would call traditional boss battles. They're more like, go through a level, then hit the boss a few times, and win the game. <laughs> um, so most of this level isn't actually fighting Nasty Nork at all. You have to hit him twice, I believe. Uh, with any regular attack, and you're golden. No, the main part of this level is chasing stuff. Which is kind of weird, but... In, uh, in the same lines of every other uh, boss level in Spire of the Dragon. Damn it, I was very close to him. There we go. The most annoying part about this level is if you do screw up at any point, uh, you have to reset and do the entire thing all over again. Um, and of course, with all the treasure to pick up, you need to do these routes um, at least twice, because you go through once, collect all the treasure, and then run it the second time to catch the thief or Nork, or, or Ganasty, Nasty Nork, um, or whoever you're chasing. But other than that, it's relatively straightforward. It's not a bad level. Um, frustrating to a, a minor degree. Uh, I always have trouble with this guy. It's not too bad today. Got him before he got out here. The secret is corners, essentially. So you want to be taking the corner tighter than he is. So you tend to hit him on the way through. So now we get hit by Nork, and that's not good, but shouldn't really make a difference overall. Once again, just going through, collecting the treasure. Got to be careful of those sudden drop-off corners. Usually where I screw up uh, in this level is charging around and misjudging the corner and head bashing the uh, edge of the platform instead of actually going over it. Uh, I'm so spastic. Don't know where I'm going. Hopefully that music's not coming out on my microphone. Random little sidetrack. Okay, here we go. Chasing Nork time. Not gonna screw up. So really, you knew- I don't know if you actually hit Nork, uh, nasty. Gotta stop saying Nork because Norks are essentially the minions, that's what he is. He is nasty. Um, essentially, you have to hit him, like he'll stop here and you can just go get hit and actually fail. <laughs> Damn it. This, isn't, this, this does not bode well because if I take a hit on the final section after getting this part down, <laughs> um, I'm going to be well and truly screwed. Especially if he hits me again. That corner, um, I found you can get tighter turns if you leap. Uh, around the corners to take them, but don't get overzealous with it. There we go. So then he does this snake thing, which is quite evil, really, because you gotta 
very quickly go across these moving platforms without making a mistake and it gets very hairy towards the end ah there we go I'm dead damn it so there we go it's not too bad of a reset um, that was probably cost me some time that I needed but we'll try this again Hopefully I do better. Oh, it's so close, it's so close. Ah, made it. And death to you, Mr. Nasty. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So, now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I've still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. So we have the first spate of uh, the credits. But it's not. <laughs> the game's not over yet. We still have some gems and one dragon left to collect. Um, but of course I love these credits and they're best enjoyed without me talking over them so I'll leave it there for now and uh, I'll be back with you shortly And there you have it. That's uh, the first section. But wait, look, the dragon's back. We still have more stuff to do. Yay! All 80 dragons, we are success. And uh, speaking of dragons, the dragon video is ready. Um, I might wait a little bit uh, to release those, considering that. Um, I don't want to eclipse uh, my Spyro videos by saturating uh, your subscriptions box with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll just finish off Spyro with the 100% with Nasty's Loot, the level uh, in which you have to have collected all the gems and all the dragons to get the 100% rating. So we're at 100% now. This is merely the extra uh, 7% or 11% or something I forget exactly how much it tacks on but uh, yeah this is your special secret hidden level ending thing um, and it's full of delicious treasure 
and it's a little bit of a puzzle solving thing in itself. Um, but it's cool because you get like you have the infinite uh, infinite flight. It's a lot slower than uh, moving around on the ground, but um, makes for some interesting gameplay at the very end of the game. And uh, this whole level is predicated on chasing these thieves. That guy was stupid. Cut him off perfectly. I totally planned that, even though it was a fluke. <laughs> I can't remember exactly how much treasure is in this level. I think it's like. It's at least a thousand. It's quite ridiculous. It's only tens and twenty fives. And um, yeah, the whole whole key to this level is unlocking these doors so you can get higher like I'm pulling right back on the stick at the moment and I can't go any higher than this so what you have to do is you have to unlock these doors to get to the stairs and be able to climb higher so it's pretty fun the novelty is kind of worn off a little bit uh, for the larger area of this level, um, like this outdoors area, it's close there. Um, let me change direction now. You sneaky sneak of thievey thieves. Be more logical. Ah! There we go. <laughs> um, totally lost the track of what I was saying. Again. I wonder if I went through all my videos, which I can't really be bothered doing, and found how many times I lose my train of thought. It would be infinite. <laughs> or a very large number, at least. <laughs> okay, Duke. That's all the treasure from there. We're already well over uh, any treasure cap from um, any other level in Spyro 1. But not Spyro 3. Spyro 3 actually has some ridiculously high uh, treasure caps for the standard levels. So now we've got thieves in planes. Which is pretty annoying. And his flight path is rather irritating. I always forget where it actually goes. It's difficult to see with all the buildings, I'm not entirely sure, like, it took me a while to find them uh, when I did this, because I, I've, I played through these levels recently because I, um, I finished off the game doing the dragons, uh, so I've already played through this section recently. Let's unlock the door, but um, we've got got some treasure that we need to uh, we need to unlock using these. I missed that one. Damn it! I have to light these firecrackers and get the treasure. I think it's this one that I don't. Mm -hmm. Yes. Climb the uh, stairs so I can get the net, the new height. Click the rest of the gems. Just kind of rambling along to myself, not really making much sense or saying anything particularly interesting. But we'll get to it. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of something relatively interesting to say. This is, as logic would dictate, the most annoying thief to catch. Um, but it's it's just a matter of lapping. Like that's uh, all you have to do is essentially just take these laps perfectly without hitting anything um, or getting delayed, and uh, you'll soon catch up with them. It's nothing particularly taxing because you're only going slightly faster than him, but it requires several laps to actually catch up to him completely. So you try not to drag on the walls or hit the pipes or anything. So that last pipe tends to trip me up a little bit. Uh, 
but yes, hug the hug the tight corners. It's the same principles with any of the thieves. It's just you hug the corners, and sooner or later you're going to catch up to them. It's just patience. There we go. Click those other chests. Well, I may as well unlock the the final flight platform, since that's all this room is. It's just the platform that allows you to fly at the highest point uh, of this level. Pretty boring room, really. <laughs> um, what else? We still have a couple of firecrackers to let off. I know that. There we go. Missed it. Darn. Yes, yeah, so I think there's a, there's a thousand here in the open world. I think. Uh, it seems to me I would have actually missed something. Yes, I feel like I've missed a box somewhere, or a bunch of gems. So I think it's supposed to equal a thousand before you finish. Oh well, we'll go in here to my favourite room in the entire game, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Because this is just awesome. Ah, crap, no. I totally ruined that. No, at least you get some of it, and then we just charge through the room, collecting purple goodness. It's a conspiracy. This game is actually designed to make you enjoy the color purple. <laughs> purple awesome dragon and purple awesome gems. Do we have the full two thousand? Do we have it? Do we have it? Oh my god, we do! Oh la la la! Yay, do rolls of victory. <laughs> yeah. I got your treasure, bitch. I win the game. That is all. So we'll return to the Nort Karm world. And success. Spyro the dragon. You've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Spire of the Dragon. In its 100 and... Over 100% completion... Completeness. Bollocks. <laughs> I ruined that awesome ending! Um, but yeah, that's uh, Spire of the Dragon in its entirety. 100% run. Very, very fun classic game. Uh, big part of my, my childhood, my gaming childhood. And um, yeah, as I mentioned early on, first PlayStation game I actually purchased for myself. Um, it's possibly even the first game I purchased for myself, really. Out of my own pocket money savings. And it's very fun. And I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. I enjoyed revisiting it. Probably for the last time. I just I played through it <laughs> twice in the excess of 100% to do this Let's Play. Because I've got the Dragon videos waiting in the wings. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, once again, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. And I'll catch you guys later with some announcement videos as to what I'm doing next. So until then, enjoy the rest of the uh, credits, and I'll catch you later.